<laughs> Be careful. Why are they dressed? Are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on, slowly. I'm going to hold my hand. Not dying. <laughs> 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 I can walk into a funeral. <laughs> oh, he knows you better than Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another perfect day in paradise. It is with great pleasure that we are gathering today to witness the joining of two hands and two hearts in matrimony. These two people, Patrick and Douglas, have fallen in love so deeply, so completely, that today they make a bond before their friends and family, whereby their hearts, their bodies, and their souls shall be united as one in marriage for the rest of their days. Today, Patrick and Douglas join their lives together to form a new circle of love, one that overlaps with and is made stronger by those from which it has emerged. You good folks have been invited here today because of their special relationship with you to witness the creation of this sacred bond. Also, it is your presence that makes this day even more special to our couple. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you on behalf of Patrick and Douglas for your attendance at this most important event of their lives. A few words on what it takes to make a good marriage. A good marriage must be created. In the marriage, the little things are the big things. It is being never too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once each day. It is being never too old to hold hands, as I said, but it's also never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the entire family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each of you can grow. It is the common search for the good and for the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is in fact being the right partner. Guys, if there was ever a one-page manual written on how to have a happy marriage for 50 years, this is that one page. And as you noticed when I was reading it, nothing really complicated. Fun things, a lot of fun things. Holding hands. Patrick, is it fun to hold hands? It is. And it will always be fun. <laughs> Douglas, you, you enjoy also holding hands? Okay. And, you know, as you go through life, holding hands is a very, very important thing to do as a couple because you can be walking along holding hands. You don't even have to communicate verbally. As long as you're holding hands, there's a certain vibration that goes on between the bodies and you are communicating. And that communication is very, very important. There are cultures that absolutely believe 
that it's just about physically impossible to stay angry with somebody as long as you're holding their hand. Keep that in mind, Douglas. That may save some stressful times in the future as you go through your life. <laughs> now, these words were simple. They're all good ideas. And again, if you do it, you'll have that happy marriage for 60 years. If you do it, and what I it is remember these concepts. So what we're going to ask you to do is I've taken the liberty of putting these words on another piece of paper, which you can bring home, put it someplace special in your home. And if you'll invest just two minutes a month as a couple, you'll have that happy marriage for 60 years. Now, what are you going to do in that two minutes? One of you will read this to the other out loud, slowly, with some feeling. And over a period of time, through a process called spaced repetition, these ideas will sink deeper and deeper and deeper into your subconscious. And you'll find that generally you're basically happy most of the time. Now the hardest point of that assignment, and this is kind of like a homework assignment, is to remember whose turn it is to read. So Patrick, we're going to ask you to read it to Douglas, and every month it has an R in it, and, and Douglas will read it to you, and every month it doesn't have an R in it, okay? Patrick, is that okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Douglas, right now, Patrick is standing there in his mind. He's saying January, February, <laughs> April, <laughs> April <laughs> when, when do I get off? <laughs> kind of like high school, you're off during the summer. Patrick and Douglas, you are facing each other. And you're holding hands. I'm going to ask you now to look into each other's eyes and join your hearts. And one more request, please give each other's hands a squeeze. These are the hands of your best friend, young, strong, and vibrant with love. You hold each other's hands today on your wedding day as you promise to love each other all the days of your life. And these are the hands that will love and cherish you through good times and in difficult ones. They are the hands that will comfort you in illness and will countless times wipe tears of sorrow and tears of joy from your eyes. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that you will grow old reaching for. Our wish for you today is your hands always reach out to each other with love and respect and when joined, symbolize a love that will go on forever. All right, guys, this is the moment you've been looking forward to for about 16 years. I think that's 8,544 days, to be exact. Not that we're counting. But we're going to do our vows, and uh, I'm going to start with Patrick. Patrick, would you please repeat after me? I, Patrick, take you, Douglas. Patrick, you, to be my lawfully wedded spouse. To be my lawfully wedded spouse. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Okay, Douglas, your turn. Please take a deep breath and repeat after me. Patrick, Patrick. you are one lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, listen, did I get that right, just the way you wrote it? <laughs> I, Douglas, take you, Patrick, to be my lawfully wedded spouse, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, from this day forward, for as long as we both shall live. Do we have the rings? Okay, while you have your rings in your hand, I'm going to ask you to hold up in front of you. 
and we're going to say a few words over the rings. But before that, and while you're holding the rings, Okay, and while you're holding the rings, I know you had some special words that you wanted to share with each other. And did you guys decide who wanted to speak first? Yes, Doug does. Okay. <laughs> Patrick is quick, isn't he? Yeah, he has okay, no problem talking. Why don't you give us? special words. Now let's talk about these rings for a second, what they represent. These rings symbolize your eternal love. May these rings forever remind you of your commitment to one another, as well as the circle of love that you are publicly creating here today. May your compassion and kindness for one another always be like these rings, with no beginning and no end. May the precious metal remind you of your precious love, and if either begins to tarnish, may you joyfully undertake the sacred duty <coughs> to make it shine brightly again. May your relationship always be like these rings, separate but close, simple but beautiful. May the rings always belong to your hands and your love always belong in each other's hearts. <laughs> Douglas, please look into Patrick's eyes and place the ring, which is your symbol for your love for him, on his left hand and say, with this ring, with this ring I the wed. Patrick, please look into Douglas's eyes and place the ring, which is your symbol for your love for him, on his left hand and say, with this ring. I the wed. Patrick and Douglas, you have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. This covenant is a relationship pledge between two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. The most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship. You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. Today, this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of sand. Sarah, so, maybe.
Hey gentlemen, as you notice, there are three, and ladies and gentlemen, there are three containers there. Two outside containers, each contain sand, which these gentlemen made on their own through the painstaking process of finding it, retrieving it, uh, grinding up chalk. And what else did you put in there? You baked them. Baked you baked them. Dye, whatever it took. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've had, ever had baked sand, and I think that's rather it's a nice. Long process. <laughs> anyway, Patrick, one of those containers represents you. All that you were in the past, all that you are now, and all that you will ever be. The other representing you, Douglas, all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As together you pour the two containers of sand into the third container, and you can do that now, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. There is no rush. It does not get dark until about 7 o'clock. There's a shot somewhere with our name on it. Pour it in, Dave. Okay. So now you have a lasting memento of this day when you join your lives together. What we suggest you do is you take that sand home, put it someplace special in your house, and each year on your anniversary day, today is the 4th of September, you gather at the sand and you do two things. Number one, you have a libation together, whether that's Diet Coke, I kind of doubt that, but whatever, yeah, <laughs> or a glass of wine or whatever. And you remember this day, and to help you remember this day, I'm going to ask you now to look out at all your guests, and kind of, this sounds silly, but kind of blink your eyes as you're looking at them, and you're kind of like taking mental pictures of everybody here today. And, and each year when you gather at the sand and you have that libation together, you'll recall this picture in your minds. And the very good news is you remember the happiness and feelings of love that you're feeling today. Plus, your guests in those pictures will never age. Hmm? You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick and Douglas, may you always remain sweethearts, helpmates, and friends. May your life together be full of kindness and understanding, thoughtfulness, and rejoicing. May the years bring you happiness and contentment. May you enter into each other's joy with gladness, into each other's hope with faith and trust, and into each other's needs with the sure presence of love, into each other's lives with enthusiasm and embracing. Douglas and Patrick, with the support of your families and your friends, by the vows that you have made to one another and by the strength of your love, it is my pleasure to pronounce you to be a married couple. Patrick and Douglas, you may share your first kiss. And we all cheer. Ladies and gentlemen, our newlyweds, Patrick and Douglas, let's hear it again for them. For later. Yes, We're going to have babies by hanging on over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say that. Okay. That would make a this event. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, come meet the newlyweds. Yay. Yay.